Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the All Right Hotel. I feel like that's a little bit of a lie right now. This is a pretty bad hotel, let's be honest, but it's going to turn great very, very soon. Anyways, if you missed the last episode, had a little bit of trouble in this room, but I have fixed it. Now, I thought if I just added more two-star items, the room rating would go up, but no, I had to actually delete uh, one star item slowly and uh, convert them over to two stars. So yeah, I couldn't really have any one star it seemed like. But yeah, long story short, I fixed it. I don't like the look of it as much, but uh, the two star items are what I had to use. And uh, well, I'm just following what the game's telling me to do. Anyways, we can finish finally now. So we will do that. And there we go. Now we can book the room before and after. Always a pleasure to see uh, the differences. But yeah, we're going to book the room for good old Dracula or whatever the hell he is. And it looks like we're getting $500 a day with this. Not bad. We're going to go to the basement now. That's shady. It's not what I expected. However, I noticed that the hotel has a basement. Could I have a look inside? Wait, you're not interested in the room I just totally rebuilt for you? You'd rather go to the freaking basement. Okay. I mean, I guess you are a vampire, so I feel like... Is that you? Who the hell is this guy? Okay, I think that is him. But yeah, I'm assuming a, a vampire would be great in the basement, so it, it kind of makes sense. Oh my god, the more I, I, I explore this place, the more anxiety I get. Like, why? Why is there so much furniture <laughs> that I have to slowly replace? God, I don't even know how to get to the basement. It's over there, but I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's behind front desk? Oh look, more clutter. Dude, what, was there a hoarder here before me or something? There we go, I think. Well, it's going downwards, so this has got to be the basement. This is eerie. Why, why am I here? There's more storage? Do you really need this many freaking items? Grandpa's memento. Please do not turn on the light. I can see just fine. The interior is dark and damp, just as I prefer. And what is this chest? What chest? Is there anything I can sell in here for a profit? I don't think so. God, there's so many items. I have found another egg. Whoa. I thought he destroyed it. $2,000. Those eggs are definitely worth it. That's That's got to be worth some money. This is trash. This is art. It's bad art, but it's art. All right, well, I think I see the chest right there, possibly. So let's maybe head back there. Excuse me, sir. Get out of my way. Oh, this... <laughs> I thought that was the chest over there. It's literally in front of me. Oh, man, I am I am smart. All right, so I'm supposed to empty the chest and find the special item. I hope I can't destroy... Who's throwing bananas in here? That's kind of a weird thing, isn't it? Oh, wait, I know what's going on. He's, he's going to turn this into his bed. That was the whole goal. I wanted to make him a coffin anyways. Dude, there's still some stuff in here. Hold on. There you go. A bed for a king, sir. The chest is much more comfortable than the bed. I think I'll stay here. I'll pay for the room, of course. Don't fret. Thank you for understanding. This is where you'd prefer to be. I even gave you blackout blinds, dude. There are, what, whatever, man. Well, well, well. We meet again, little egg. Wait. Is, oh, I think this is maybe a collection cabinet. I thought I found another egg. Damn it. Oh, yeah, this is upgrades. So I can get a vacuum cleaner, an automatic cleaning robot. I don't know how much money I'm going to need. That's the thing. Because I've only done two rooms. So I am going to need a lot of money to furnish this place. So, yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to want to um, buy. Oh, I actually need to progress in the story anyway. So I guess I don't get upgrades yet. Uh, nice to see. What? What? Why? I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued, but why? But yeah, it's nice to see that we are going to get some upgrades. So I guess we'll just head back. I just, I really want to clean. So I'm cleaning as I go. Uh, but yeah, it looks like total destruction. Uh, Celine from Horror Horizons. You might have heard of our single destroy. We'd love to record a video in your lobby while you smash the place up. Okay, that's what I want to do anyways. Clean this damn place. All right, so they need a set. Um, I'm thinking right here, this is a good view. And I'll just destroy things in the back. <laughs> Are they actually going to be here singing? Because that's pretty hilarious, if so. All right, so there's the mic. I hope I can resell these because I really don't want these here all the time. I think we needed a camera. Add video cameras. Whoa, those are fancy cameras. All right, so we got two fancy cameras. There we go. Now we need studio lamps. There. And finally, an electric guitar, which I actually didn't see in here. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm, I'm just blind. All right, so there we go. We got the guitar, the singer... Oh my god, the angles. Can I destroy things? I thought I was supposed to be destroying things. This is a weird game, man. The guy is not... Oh, he is playing guitar. All right, well, I guess they're doing their thing, so it's time for me to do my thing. Yay, destruction. Oh, I guess we're done. 
Oh no, I, I think it's a cutscene. What the hell? What is going on? Wait, stop. Wait. Oh, are you, are you gonna do it for me then? That explains the dynamite, thank God. I'm so glad you blew up dynamite here because that would have took me probably an hour, honestly. And I got $20,000 for that? Wow, okay, you guys are welcome to come back whenever you want. There's a hole upstairs that's still a mess. All right, so as much as I want to make this place look fancy, uh, I am reading this and it seems like every star or whatever these things are, the ratings, gives us a 5% chance of a tip. So you do have to go to the high tier items, I feel like, if you do want to play this game right. Woo! Well, good thing I found you. There we go. $3,000 that time. So yeah, we're going to do some two star items here. Uh, and we're gonna try and make it look good at the same time. But yeah, I really want to focus more on profits than anything else. All right, I think I'm gonna go for this herringbone wood. This looks really good to me. Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. The one, the one I like is locked. Um, I do want to go for wood anyways. Uh, herringbone one was pretty... Yeah, you know what? I think we'll just do this one. There we go. $2,000 well spent. Do that there. And then I think over here we'll do something else. And over here we'll do something else. All right, of course we need marble walls. That's just fancy. So we're just going to do this so quickly. What's frustrating is I still can't do roofs. So they're going to look awful. I don't know why the game hasn't let me do roofs yet. Oh, I am really lagging trying to spawn all these at the same time. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of the vibe I got going right now. I want a nice bright walls. All right, so lobby requires... Why would the lobby require closets? That's just weird, man. Um, so I think we'll put kind of like a chill out room over here with sofas and whatnot and leave this more or less open with, you know, a few things to the walls and whatnot because it looks pretty basic right now. But I don't want to go too crazy because I am spending a lot of money in this game and I do want to save it. All right. So yeah, we've learned ranking is a plays a big role in this game. So all these great sofas here, I'm probably never going to use again. We have to use the two stars now. And I'm assuming three stars will come out at rank two. Yep. Now, these are cool, don't get me wrong, but I really wish I could just choose whatever the hell I want. Ooh, I like this one. Why? Why do I have to do everything? He lost his wallet, I stole it. Because I need to earn money, because I'm still earning negative 30 a day. Oh, there's a big sum of money at stake? Okay, I, I, I will gladly help now. Just let me finish up my sofa situation here. Ooh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> How lucky is that? Uh, I just put this down here. You have not sat here. I don't know what's going on. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to return it. I have to get a uh, good reputation here. So there we go. I want to know how much was in that though. Dude, can you guys just chill? I have two people say I have one person staying here right now and things just keep going on, man. Oh, I'm just trying to set this place up. By the way, I love how I said I wasn't going to spend a lot of money. Then I spent $2,000 on fish tanks, which have no fish in them. I mean, we're slowly getting there. I do like that I chose plum because it was black and white before. So we need a little bit of an accent color. And I think we're going to keep with that. Uh, but yeah, let's go see uh, what's going on at room 101 now. All right, what the hell did you break? There's nothing to break in here. Wait, what? The was it the same hen we met when we arrived at the hotel? Oh... Uh... I don't know why I didn't kill the guy then. I I mean, I let him out, but uh, yeah, I guess he came back in. Anyways, room's fixed. All right, but now we need decorations. Oh, would you look at that? I already hit one of 12? One of 12? All right, well, most of these are really small, so I guess we'll put like cups everywhere and crap. I don't know. All right, we have some griffins. We're shipping a pair. That makes sense, right? Now we'll have a horse jumping a pair. There we go. It's art. You wouldn't understand. All right, I hate how much clutter is here. I'm very much a minimalist, but uh, the game made me do it. So there we go. I I have I have pleased the game. I hate half of this, but honestly, I don't hate how it came out. Um, yeah, I definitely will be changing some of this later on, though. Now we can finally repair this thing. So hold space to purchase, and there we go. That looks cleaner. Okay, and just like that, we're having a bachelorette party. How exciting! Abigail would like to stay here for a few days. We need a special room for the bride to be here. Here's the list of requirements. Have you ever been to a hotel that like set up rooms for certain parties and whatnot? What a, what is this place? All right. Well, at least we get to work on another room. I I do want to do some more work here, but I would like to earn some money in this game. And the more rooms we have, the more money we get. So let's go over and make a bachelorette party room. Yay. Ah, there it is. Let me guess. Yes, it's absolutely gross. Fantastic. What the hell is going on outside as well? Why is there just mountains of rock in the what I'm assuming is park? 
God, it almost looks like my hotel out there. What the <laughs> Okay, room has been stripped of the crud. Now on to the clean mode. It does seem like this room's gonna be pretty easy. We just need a mini fridge, party balloons, uh, and some neon decorations. So, uh, should be quick work. Wait. I can do the roofs? What the hell? Are you... Are you toying with me? So I just paint the... Oh, I'm so... Why do I have to remove the tiles on the walls then if I don't have to do it on the roof? Okay, well, that changes a lot. All right, so the walls and floors are done. I actually don't hate much of this. Do I want to do this roof? I actually like this roof. Not really with this coloring, though. Uh, so went hard on the marble in here. I wanted more of a bright room, so we got... A lot of bright colors. I think they do blend well together. I'm talking like an interior designer right now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. And that's the important part. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll just maybe change this roof a little bit. All right, I think we're just going to stick with traffic white. Generic white roofs. Can't go wrong with that, in my opinion. And with the white flooring, I think that will really pop well. Okay, now to make a bachelor pad. How exciting. We This is obviously going to be the bedroom area, kind of like last time. And it's actually the same design as the Dracula's room. This time, at least we know, keep the stars high. Stars are the only thing that matters in this damn game. Oh, perfect. This fits like right here perfectly. So we're going to have a nice little end table. Can I put it in the bed? I don't know why I can do that, but okay. Uh, that's looking good. Then we'll get a small side cabinet. I guess we'll do two of these since... Wouldn't really make sense to just have one. So, as long as it's two-star, we are putting it in here. What is this? A uh, table. Okay, where do I want a table? You know what? I think I'll make, like, a little computer desk area right here. And I like that table. Okay, perfect. That actually fits there very well. All right, I like the simplicity of this couch. We obviously don't want green. I think I might just go for, like, a, a white. A, a lot of purple is too much. Oh, I really like this little armchair. I wonder if I can edit it to match the other one. Yeah, look at that. Fuchsia. Perfect. Okay. I mean, you know what? I think I'll add two of those. This is a bachelor pad after all. There needs to be lots of places to sit. All right. What kind of dresser matches this room? What the hell is this thing, by the way? <laughs> How big do you need a dresser when you're on vacation? Chill, game. Uh, ooh, I wonder, can I make this purple? Oh my god. Look at that. That's looking good. All right, so we're going to put that there like that. Look at that. We're actually almost done in terms of things that they're asking of me. But that's right. I have to add party balloons, mini fridge, and neon decorations. That's what we're waiting for here. All right, so I like that thing. We can put some storage there. I might even put one on the other side. There we go. So that is that done. We just need another chair. I'm going to have possibly a small table here or something. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I don't like the gold accents, but I guess I can't get rid of them. So, ooh, that's nice wood. Okay, and now I can finish up with some more chairs. We'll add, I guess, two here. Not the perfect table for this side corner, but good enough. All right, and being that this was a rush job, I don't actually hate the way it came out. It actually, I mean, it's very girly, but I don't feel like it's overly girly either, which was kind of the goal here. Oh, I should probably do one more thing, which is add some sort of curtain set up here. I think actually white will look really nice here. So we probably want to go with that. Let's keep this nice and open. And yeah, I think I'm just going to use these ones that have already been given to me. Again, we want to keep the light coming in. Not that there's much light with the storm going on right today, but that's fine. Uh, also, this is I, this is going to bother me. So I need something on this wall. There we go. A cute cat and puppy cuddling. How adorable. And maybe something on the back wall as well. Some random guy. Yeah, that's great. Um... Oh, you know what? That's kind of dope. It kind of matches the back chaoticness as well. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't know why, but I really like this. So we're going to do that. I'm wasting so much money. I don't even need to be spending all this money here. I just, I have a problem. I need to actually furnish these things. Uh, but yeah, there it is. I think I'm going to stop now. We have the balloons. We have the beer fridge. We have everything else for a great bachelor party. Even a little uh, chihuahua in a cute little dress. Uh, and yeah, I've also have a very basic bathroom, but I think it does the job. I actually really like the look of this. The simplicity of it is great. And we are going to hopefully finish this now. Um, have I done everything? Book room 101. Oh, wait, I just realized I'm missing. No, no wonder why I can't finish. I'm missing three or sorry, two decorations. All right, so we'll add some candles there. I do have these um, things that don't have anything on them. So 
So let's just throw a random Buddha right there. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to stop spending money and just finish this thing. Because, yeah, it's good enough for me. Look at that. Look at the difference. Ah, oh, fantastic. Book it. $400 or $500 per day. Why does it say 400 then? I'm confused. I had an amazing time here, and I figure I found the perfect place for a wedding party. I'm so excited. Look at that. A return customer. It pays to, you know, build rooms just for one customer, I guess. All right. Well, it's time to get excited because we actually get our first upgrades. We already saw these today, but now I can actually buy them. So vacuum. Use the vacuum cleaning tool of the pie menu. Select with it with Q and E. So essentially, it's a better broom, I'm assuming. And unlock the hammer. I thought it would be like a generic hammer. No, a freaking sledgehammer. Yes, please. All right, so let's see what the difference is. It looks like I just destroy the entire floor. Oh, this is fantastic. And then I'm assuming the vacuum. Oh, it just said, what the hell is... What the hell kind of vacuum is this? This is fantastic. Look at it go all the way to the end. All right, well, those are amazing upgrades. That makes my life way easier when it comes to cleaning this place up. And it looks like that wedding is what we're going to be working on next. I need to build three rooms for that. So, yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, let me know. Oh, hold on. Before we end off. All right, there we go. That's looking much, much better. The only thing I have to do now to make myself happy is get rid of all the brown from upstairs. But I'm assuming there's going to be a quest for that sooner or later. And, yeah, I'm going to keep with this black and white vibe I got going on. Maybe getting rid of some of this stuff later on. Uh, but yeah, that's if you guys are enjoying this, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed building some more rooms today and obviously, most importantly, the front lobby. Yeah, in the next episode, I guess we'll be building three rooms, which will double our output of earnings. Right now, we're earning almost $1,000 a day. So hopefully, once those are built, we can earn about $2,000 a day because I am running out of money pretty quickly. $60,000 can go pretty fast in this game. So hopefully, we can start earning some. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one.